What's up guys? I'm Nick from Apollo Optics and today I want to introduce you to the biggest build we've done yet. Our 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R. This has got to be my favorite build to date and it embodies the ethos of everything that we want to do here at Apollo. It's building rugged luxury trucks. Having your cake and eat it too, that's our style. So what we've done with this truck? Well, let's face it. We started with the most incredible platform currently available on the market, but we went ahead and we made it even better. We've upgraded everything on this truck. Well, almost. We've upgraded suspension, bumpers, lighting, wheels and tires, utility accessories, interior security, you name it. So check it out. We're gonna walk you through everything that we've done on this truck to date and what we can help you do on your Raptor. So first up, Let's talk about these wheels. This is one of the latest designs from our friends over at Vossen. Vossen has been around for quite a few years now, but they've recently entered the truck game very hard. All of their wheels are part of their new hybrid forge line as well. So you're getting lightweight yet very strong wheels. Hybrid forging basically means exactly what you think it is. It's a hybrid. So you're starting off with a forged barrel and then you're applying a cast face through a special process to bond the two metals together. And then boom, you've got strong, lightweight wheels that are also quite a bit less expensive than going the fully forged route. This one right here, this is the newest design, the HFX1. So this is the hybrid of hybrids because this is the first wheel that they've brought out that is not only a truck wheel, but it's also a car wheel. So you could have HFX1s on your F-150 Raptor. You could also have HFX1s on your Audi RS7. Whatever you want to do, Vossen can make it happen. Let's dive into this design a little bit more. This is going to be your classic 6Y spoke wheel. This particular wheel is finished in what they call a tinted gloss black. Now this is the color that I get the absolute most questions about. What is tinted gloss black? It's a two-tone wheel. If you look closely, you'll notice that the inner barrel and the windows of the wheel, in addition to a portion of the face, is going to be gloss black. However, what's tinted is going to be portions of the outer face. On this wheel, specifically the ring. What we're going to have here is a tinted clear coat over the brushed aluminum underneath. Now, by doing that, you're going to take some of that brightness and some of that sharpness away. It's going to come out as more of a charcoal gray clear coat. That two-toned with the gloss black wheel. If you're not a fan of this finish, don't worry. There's five other standard finishes available, and as always, we can custom finish them for you too. And if you're one of those hardcore Raptor guys who whines and cries every time someone doesn't put 17-inch wheels on their Raptor, guess what? This exact same wheel is available in a 17 by 9 zero offset. This particular setup, we wanted to go aggressive. So this truck is sitting on 20s, and they're 20 by 10 negative 18s because we wanted a little bit of poke. If you like 20 inch wheels, but you don't want that negative of an offset, don't worry. We can also do a 20 by nine and a half plus 15. That's gonna put the wheels nice and flush with the end of your fender flares. Now, there are other sizes available across the HF line. You've got 18s coming out this summer. And then for the guys who really like big wheels, there's 22s and 24s. And stay tuned because these bad boys are coming out in June for eight lung trucks as well. We wanted to go with big wheels and big tires, what better tire than Toyo Mud Terrains? If you checked out our Bronco video last year, you know that we love these tires. They are the quietest mud tires that you can get on the street, and yet they're also one of the most aggressive looking. Why'd we pick them? Because it looks like this truck is going to invade Normandy Beach. And that's a style that we like. They're quiet, they last a long time, they get incredible dry traction and wet traction, and like any mud tire should be, they're pretty good in the mud too. This particular setup is a 371350. That is a massive tire on a negative offset wheel. Did we have to do trimming to fit this? Absolutely. But looks pretty clean. From your angle, you can't tell. And that's the goal. So while this badass warehouse does have the construction rough shot we were looking for, unfortunately, it's pretty hard to see all the details on this truck. So follow me. We're going to roll outside and check out some of this truck in a little bit more detail.
So if you've been a Raptor fan for a long time, you know that these trucks are all about suspension. Baja, off-road, mud, sand, you name it, these trucks are built for it. And what we get from the factory is pretty good, but we're in the business of making it better. So we yanked out all of the factory suspension on this truck. Sure, it comes factory with the new Fox 3.1 shocks, but they're not factory race. There's no reservoirs. So we said, you know what? We're swapping the shocks on this truck and we're getting rid of all the factory stamp steel components and upgrading them with billet. Let's dive in and take a look at this suspension in a little bit more detail. Now, the first thing you'll notice when looking at this truck are these massive reservoirs. We replaced the factory shocks on this truck with the factory race live valve. Technically speaking, these shocks were for the Gen 2 Raptor. However, they work perfectly on the Gen 3. They bolt directly into factory location and they work with the factory live valve settings so you can retain all of your drive modes. In addition to that, there's no need for aftermarket springs, leveling kits, or anything else. Out of the box, these shocks are gonna level the front of the truck. However, like we did, you do have the ability to raise or lower the settings with the threaded collars that adjust the preload. So we ended up cranking up the front end of this truck to get a little bit more height than how they come out of the box, mostly to fit these big meats right here. Let's dive in and talk a little bit more about the technology on these shocks. So yes, the factory shocks are the upgraded Fox 3.1, and from a size standpoint, one could argue that we downgraded to the 3.0 instead. However, we did gain a whole lot more. First off, we have the adjustability that I mentioned before, but secondly, we've got these big old reservoirs here. You'll notice that these reservoirs have a twin hose design. With every suspension cycle, they're actually flushing fresh fluid through the reservoir and back into the shock. You'll also notice that the reservoirs have heat sinks on them to aid in the cooling of the shock fluid as well. Big reservoir, bigger piston, larger shock, height adjustability, and they retain live valve functionality. These were a no brainer for our suspension upgrade. Let's talk about the billet components. We partnered up with our friends over at Fouts Motorsports. If you know Greg Fouts, some would argue that he is the godfather of the Raptor and why the F-150 Raptor even exists in the first place. Over the last couple years, they've greatly expanded their operations from just skid plates to now having a number of heavy duty billet components. So we opted to replace the factory upper control arms and tie rods with their billet parts. There are two options for tie rods on these trucks. You can go with billet outer tie rods only, or you can opt for the one piece solution like we did. Factory tie rods are known for breaking. And there's always the old argument, is it better to remove a failure point at the tie rod or to remove it entirely with the one piece unit? Now, you do run a risk there because you're now transferring a weak point from the outer tie rod to the rack itself, but we wanted the added strength and we wanted the improved steering feel that only one piece tie rods can offer. Up top, you'll notice that we also have the billet upper control arms. These upper control arms feature FK rod ends at the frame, so they are adjustable to pull away from the truck. You definitely want this when you're raising the height of your truck, especially with the height that we did. Now that you have added adjustability for the modified ride height, you also have a fully sealed joint at the steering knuckle. It's got the FMI logo with three nuts holding it on, and this keeps the joint fully sealed from any sort of outside debris. And it's an internally, it's an FK rod end that's got Teflon in it to make sure that these rotate and function as needed. Now let's dive in and talk about the rear suspension on this truck. It's gonna be very similar to what we chatted about on the front end. Again, we yanked out the factory shocks and upgraded them with the Fox factory race live valves, but we thought they were a perfect match for our build. Unlike the front end that only uses a single reservoir, you have two reservoirs, which they call it shotgun style, mounted to the factory truck. Now this does require a little bit of drilling, but Fox finishes it off nicely with a little Fox factory race pad that goes on the inside wheel well in the truck bed. These shocks are gonna limit your travel by an inch because the Gen 3 does have more travel than the Gen 2. So if you're gonna be doing heavy off-roading with this truck, you may wanna look at putting some limit straps on if you're using these shocks. It's hard to miss those big billet rear links. 
Again, we went with our friends over at Fouts to do their four link kit in the rear and replace the upper and lower links. Because the Raptor R comes from the factory with more power than your traditional EcoBoost, all of the rear end suspension components are under a little bit more stress. With that stress, if you're running traditional uniballs, they're gonna pop and bind. Unfortunately, that is one of the negatives when you go with any type of rear link upgrade. Sure, you are gonna feel the added performance, the stiffness in the rear end, tighter when cornering, but you're gonna get that popping and binding, right? Not anymore. That's why Fouts created their Ultraflex bushings for their rear links. This is not just a traditional uniball, it's a little bit of a rubber bushing and a link hybrid, and it's still greasable and serviceable. This is gonna be a paid upgrade for rear links, but it's available for all rear link customers, whether you have an EcoBoost or an R truck. With these being a new product that we're testing, what's our feedback? After 2,500 miles, I have not heard a single pop or anything from the rear end of this truck. The rear links have been silent and we're very happy to report on that. And we're looking forward to these being available for you, the end consumer. That about wraps up the suspension on this truck. Let's take a look at a few more parts. Addictive Desert Designs is one of our favorite companies to partner with on our builds. They make some incredibly stylish looking bumpers that are known for their tight fit, their good quality, and the abundance of lighting options that are available. Another thing that we love about ADD is that their bumpers are made in the USA, and that's a pretty rare find in the bumper market these days, and one that we're proud to wear on this truck. Let's talk about the Phantom. With the Phantom series, ADD has blended two different styles of their most popular bumpers. For starters, you have the Pro Bolt-On style. That's a very tight-fitting bumper to the truck, but it's always with the tubular style construction. Whereas other bumpers like the Honey Badger and the Stealth Fighter, they're known for their plate style construction. What ADD's done is blended those two styles together into the Phantom series. You'll notice that this is an extremely tight fitting bumper to the front of the truck, yet it maintains that plate style construction and has adequate amount of aftermarket lighting spots. Right here in the middle, you can go for a 20 inch light bar, whether you choose to go straight or curb, or you can fit six pods as well. That's great for the guys that wanna have a little bit more functionality with their lighting setup. You can mix in street legal SAE lights, amber off-road lights, and white off-road lights, and you still have your side light bars too. So with the knife's edge design of the Phantom Series bumpers, you'll notice in these super tight little cuts, we still have room for 10 inch light bars. This is gonna fit either the Baja Designs S8 series or the Rigid SR series. We picked the S8s because we love how the amber backlights complement the amber lighting on the front end of this truck. And lastly, with all of the technology these days, trucks are getting more and more and more on the front end. For example, now the third generation Raptor has front parking sensors in addition to rear parking sensors. But don't worry, with ADD, all of that functionality is retained. All factory parking sensors still work with full functionality and the adaptive cruise control module, which was previously located in the bumper, has easily been located here up in the grill. This new design from ADD does allow you to mount the sensor either above or below the Ford lettering. For this truck with this low profile bumper, we decided to mount it below. However, if you go with another series bumper that has either a top hoop or top mounted lights, you're gonna to wanna to use that upper location. Let's take a look at the matching rear Phantom bumper on this truck. We wanted to go with a few more aesthetic upgrades. One of the first things you'll notice are these taillights. Morimoto has some of the best looking taillights on the market for the new F-150s, so it was natural for us to go with their brand. On this particular truck, we wanted more of an OEM plus feel, so we went with their red. If you like more of the blacked out look, they do have a smoked option available as well. Everything from the factory will still work on these taillights. Your blind spot sensors are relocated from your factory taillights into these, and if you have an OEM LED truck, they're a direct plug and play. If your F-150 has halogen taillights or incandescent taillights from the factory, no problem. Morimoto includes all of the necessary adapters and resistors to make these taillights fully functional with zero hyperflash. 
Speaking of rear end upgrades, we had to have a matching rear bumper on this truck. So we also opted for ADD's new Phantom rear bumper. One of my favorite things about this bumper is that it fits 10 inch light bars. There's only a handful of bumpers on the market that do that, the Honey Badger and the Phantom. So this was another natural fit for us. Having 10 inch light bars, you're gonna be able to fit two different styles back here as well. Whether it's the Baja Designs S8 or the SR series from Rigid. We opted for the Baja Designs lights because again, we love that brand, but also the amber running lights just really tied into the overall aesthetic of this truck. And we like the way they look. If for some reason you don't want the amber running lights, no problem. It's on a separate power wire and has zero impact on the functionality of the main light bar output. Now, the Phantom bumper itself, just like the front, is going to retain all OEM features. Your parking sensors are all easily relocated in there. You'll also notice that your spare tire lock, your factory license plate lights, and your trailer hitch wiring is all functional too. All that being said, zero loss of factory functionality with improved strength, sharp looks, and additional light mounting options. So even though our Raptor R is a badass truck, at the end of the day, it is still a truck. So we couldn't leave the bed alone. The first thing we did is we went out and got the rear end sprayed. I always like to get a spray in bed liner just to keep things clean. It looks better over time. You don't, you don't have to worry about scratching up your paint or anything like that. Then on top of that, we slapped on a Bedrug Classic Bed Mat. Now, Bedrug's been around forever. You can get a full bed accessory set up with the sides, the walls, everything covered in the bed mat material. That's not really the style that I like. I like to go with the bed mats because they lay in flat on the bottom. They secure with Velcro in case you have anything that's big, heavy, dirty that you need to put in the bed of the truck. But when tonneau covers close, it's like having a big trunk to keep everything protected and dry. Now, Bedrug mats come in a few different options. Right here, we have the Classic. Now, this is just going to be the bed floor. If you want to cover the tailgate as well, you can get the XLT version of the bed mat. And if you want a more rubberized material, they also offer that as well. Now, for tonneau covers, there's a million different options on the market. Personally, I like Retrax bed covers because they look clean. When they're open, you don't lose any visibility out of your back window. But there is one caveat with them is you do lose a little bit of storage space with the canister that's in the bed. Now, on bigger truck beds like an F-250, that's not that big of a deal. But when you're already having to deal with a shorter bed, a five and a half foot bed in this case, that canister, it does kind of kill some of your space a little bit. But that's why we opted for the Retrax XR. Unlike the regular Retrax Pro MX, the XR has these T-slotted bed rails that allow you to have additional storage capacity on top of your bed cover. Whether you want to put rails for a ski box or bike carriers or something like that, or we actually have racks that can even extend above the roof of the truck for paddle boards, kayaks, ladders, all that stuff. And there's a whole line of accessories that are available specifically for these T-slots. So that about wraps it up for the bed of the truck. Let's check out some other parts. So outside of some ceramic window film, we really didn't do a whole lot to the interior of this truck. But one of our most popular upgrades is interior security specifically the center console safe right here. Now there's a few different options on the market, but the one that we've always really liked is from ENG Classics. Now, technically ENG Classics has been acquired by BNB Products and they're now producing these safes, but ENG Classics name has been around forever and we wanted to keep that heritage going as well. So that's the safe that we ended up installing in this truck. Again, it's a half door console, so it only is on the driver's side. And one of the best parts about it is you still have your OEM tray, along with still having access to unsecured storage in the interior as well. Access to your USB ports and your power port is retained too, so you don't have to worry about that. Each of these ENG console safes is going to come with a three digit combo lock, as well as a key lock for override. The combination can be set by you, the end user as well. And if you ever were to lose your combination or lose your key, we do have replacements available for you. The best part about this is that all OEM functionality is still retained. So your center console door closes and you still have unrestricted use of your full flat storage without any issue. So that about wraps it up for the interior. So that's it. This is it. 
the biggest build we've ever had here at Apollo. We've walked you through every single step of this build, every single upgrade from the billet suspension components, the higher ride height, the badass wheels and tires, the killer ADD bumpers. And the beautiful thing is we have all these parts available for you and your truck. Head to our website, give us a call, shoot us an email. You can buy parts online and guess what? We ship them right to your door. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out our build and we hope to hear from you soon.